Hi, my name is Katie Weatherup and I'm a shamanic practitioner. I want to really clean up pain and trauma from past lives, from this life in the past, and work for, through the chakra system. So one of the things that's really neat about the chakra system is if you go through the seven chakras, you're addressing all these really important central parts of the human experience. And I come from a tradition and a belief that no chakra is more important than other chakras. We want to have them all playing for the same team and all healthy and vibrant and balanced. And sure, we have preferences for different chakras. We always have, um, wow, I really love it when this chakra is lit up or that chakra is lit up. But for this, um, what I'm wanting to do is just go back along the, the thread of your history, using the chakra as a place to, to look into it, and clear experiences and energetic holdings and old tension that were times that that chakra wasn't honored. And the thing about how things work is humans are good at um, dramatic experiences, but we're bad at statistics. So the upshot is that was really useful for us in surviving as early humans, as hunter-gatherers. Um, you know, there are only a few poisonous snakes, but if you give all snakes a really wide berth, and if something was a stick but it looks like a snake and you leap back and ask questions later, you were less likely to get bit by a snake, frankly. Uh, but in the modern era, this, this whole system of, of fear and reaction tends to have us patterning things that aren't so healthy. So a lot of us have people-pleasing from our childhood because it was the most up-to-date strategy for being safe in an environment where we didn't have a lot of power and we didn't have a lot of choice. You can't fire your parents for cause unless they do something really extreme and CPS happens to catch them at it. So we learn to, um, to people-please, to swallow our truth, to walk on eggshells. All these behaviors that um, in our full adult life with our power aren't as effective. They just, they just aren't, as, aren't as good. So we um, often restrict our behavior and our choices based on a, a misapplied principle from some earlier time. And some of this is visible to us. Sometimes we can look back at you know, our childhood circumstances and understand where things come from. And some of it's really hidden. You know, a lot of what I love to do with past life work is to let people be free of the pain that their soul and their energy body is holding on to that's completely hidden from them. And they have no idea that they're scared to trust and love because they were abandoned all these lifetimes ago. There's, there's this outdated idea of how society works that influences our sense of safety and well-being and choices and predictions about what will happen in circumstances. And while it might have been relevant at one time, it's, it's really outdated and it really limits our freedom. And we naturally are clearing past life stuff all the time. So, you know, I'll see somebody have a death of a pet, which is a big thing regardless, but it, it, you know, people who are grieving that in profound ways years later, a lot of times if I go in, I see a past life with a lot of loss and a lot of grief. So if you were the one who survived the Black Plague and, you know, all these people you love died and then you were struggling to survive, you may not have been able to process the grief in that lifetime. So in this lifetime, another triggering event allows you to, to clean out some stuff. And it is a way that our souls become free of old pain, but it's kind of time consuming and it takes away from the joy of the moment. And so what I love about shamanic work is we can go in and we can fast track these things. We can go in and we can, you know, take apart the energy at the source, let it become back in the cycle of life so that fixed point of grief and pain can get dismantled and then you can be free of it and it frees you up in this lifetime. So there's a lot of um, sort of underlying hidden pain that we aren't necessarily fully conscious of. And there's nothing outside of shamanic work and other things that really get to this pain because we live in a society that doesn't really believe in past lives. And so if you went to a therapist and said, wow, there's this deep well of grief, they'd start looking at your childhood and your relationships and, you know, they'd have these, these diagnoses that, about that, which, you know, there's a lot of richness, there's a lot of value in um, the therapeutic model, I'm not making light of that, but it's also really incomplete. 
And it also, I find past life things tend to leave us vulnerable to certain health conditions. So if you were stabbed in the back by someone or stabbed in the shoulder by someone, that shoulder may be more vulnerable to injury or it may give out sooner because it doesn't have the energetic integrity at the soul level that something that wasn't carrying past life trauma did. And so by using the chakra system, um, I can go into each chakra and say, okay, root chakra, show me all the things in this lifetime and other lifetimes energetically. I'm not looking at the stories. That, that didn't work for you, that made you unhappy, that you're still holding on to, and then using that, that tracking, that focus and tracking to then dismantle the energy and to help it to break up so that the root chakra can go back to being informed by just being this you know, wonderful, luminous, spinning chakra that's about expressing the contemporary version of who you are. So um, I'm really excited to offer this. I always love going to the well of inspiration and asking the guides, hey, what, what would be cool to do for this, this next month? So I hope you'll consider joining me. I think there's a, a lot of um, benefit that happens at this, this deep level by cleaning up some stuff that um, you know, we don't usually get at. We don't have practices and protocols um, that, that are super helpful for this. Some people do, but you know, there's, there's a lot of um, richness in going in and having this, this kind of focused work. Again, my name is Katie Weatherup, and you can learn more about me and my work at my website, which is handsoverheart.com.